I have of late, wherefore I know not. Lost all my mirth. What a piece of work is a man. How noble in reason, how infinite in faculties, and form and moving, how express and admirable, and action, how like an angel, and apprehension, how like a god. in grief, and our whole kingdom to be contracted in one brow of woe. Yet so far hath discretion fought with nature, that we with wisest sorrow think on him, together with remembrance of ourselves. Therefore, our sometime sister, now our queen, the imperial jointress to this warlike state, have we, as twere, with a defeated joy, with an auspicious and dropping eye, with mirth and funeral, and with dirge and marriage, in equal scale weighing delight and dole, taken to wife. Nor have we here in Bard your better wisdoms which have freely gone with this affair along for all. All the same. Now follows that you know, young Fortinbras, holding a weak supposal of our worth, nor thinking by our late dear brother's death our state to be disjoint and out of frame, co-leagued with this dream of his advantage, he hath not failed to pester us with message importing the surrender of those lands lost by his father with all bond of law to our most valiant brother. So much for him. <laughs> and now, Laertes, what's the news with you? The head is not more nature to the heart, the hand more instrumental to the mouth than is the throne of Denmark to thy father. What wouldst thou have, Laertes? My dread lord, your leave and favor to return to France, from whence, though willingly, I come to show my duty in your coronation. Now I must confess that duty done, my thoughts and wishes bend again to France. Have you your father's leave? What says Polonius? He has, my lord, wrung from me my slow leave by laborsome petition, and at last, Upon his will, I sealed my hard consent. I do beseech you, give him leave to go. Take thy fair hour, Laertes. Time be thine, and thy best grace. Spend it at thy will. <laughs> my cousin Hamlet. 